rained a ton last night. Finally getting in some Arizona rain. How's the goat milking in the rain? Luna does not want to come up the stand. We had to like literally <laughs> lift her. <laughs> Oh she's my goodness. Of mud. Oh, because she's scared and of mud, yeah. Doris was just freaking out. Once she finished her food, she would not let you do anything. <laughs> Rain is a rare occurrence. Oh, yeah, let's put a little bit of milk in here for the babies to drink. No, let's just grab it real quick, you think. I'm almost done. No. Okay. Okay, baby goats. Oh, they're kind of a little bit damp because they don't all stay in their their shelter, huh? They did mostly. Did mostly. Just got a little damp from when they did you rub see the up pellets against and all things. their feeders. Oh yeah. So when it rains in Arizona, all our pellets hey. get wet. What should we do to make our pellets not get wet, Lydia? No idea. Animals like staying in their houses when it rains. They don't like the rain at all. So were they in a bad mood, Lydia, when you were trying to do stuff for them this morning? All the, no, not really. They just didn't want to be milked very much. And they don't want to touch any mud or any puddles or anything yeah, they're pretty picky. so I did something that totally failed and so I'm gonna share it with you guys today I've been trying to grow my own wheatgrass and this is what happened so I mean it grew and look the bottom of it looks all cool but it got pretty moldy I think what I did wrong is that I tried to water it with something like this when I should have just watered it with a spray bottle because I think I got it too wet, hence the mold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try again and I'm going to do it um, with just a spray bottle and the goal is to have fresh wheatgrass every morning. Wouldn't that be fun? So stick with me. I'll hopefully eventually do it. I've been debating on what to do with this thing because I didn't really want to feed it to the chickens because it's pretty moldy and I don't think that's very good for them. I didn't want to feed it to the goats either for the same reason or the sheep. So I'm not sure what to do with it. If you have any ideas, tell me what to do with it. So Kevin and the kids are running a couple Christmas errands and I'm just doing some things around the farm here. So favorite part about living in Arizona are these gorgeous winters. It's like a really long spring for us. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna pick a couple carrots for lunch. Okay, so these butternut squash. I see a couple of them are done now. So I'm gonna cut them off and then put them out in the sun to cure for about a day. want to see something awesome look at that I'm gonna have to read about the stages of einkorn wheat and how it grows into the berries but so far it's pretty cool
Can you believe we still have peppers here? That's crazy, huh? Peppers grown in Arizona at Christmas time. Okay, so our chickens, their wings have grown out now and they've been hopping over the fence and getting to our grapevines and all that stuff. They just so, dig up the roots of our baby trees and yeah. screwing up everything. It's, it took us a while to figure it out. Yeah, they're kind of messing it up. So we're going to trim their wings. When you hear the phrase, clip their wings, this is what they do. We're just trimming these larger feathers right here and we're gonna leave these shorter ones. So just go trim and trim right across. And they always watch the leaves, the leaves. They always, <laughs> they always watch them fall down. Now, this is the thing that people always oh. tell us. They always say, just do one side. You don't have to do both sides. And I guarantee you, somebody's gonna say it in the comments below, but I promise you, in our experience, our chickens can still climb over the fence, uh, or fly over the fence. Oh. Climb. <laughs> <laughs> they can still fly over the fence unless we trim both sides. So that's what we do. Uh oh, is that one have string around it? Oh my gosh, how do they always get this? Oh my goodness. No, oh, Tilly. <laughs> These goats want to eat a chicken. They do. We're just trying to help you. They all want to chew on me and everything. You know what? We just got to trim this. And there we go. There are no strings on me. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. There are no strings on me. <laughs> there are no strings on me. Well, guys, our kids are with Grandma and Grandpa tonight, and so we get a date night. Date night. But then we just realized that when our kids go to Grandma and Grandpa's for a sleepover, that means that our date night just includes doing the night chores. <laughs> so we have, to milk. we have to milk and do all that. All right, so we're gonna end tonight's vlog, today's vlog, and hope you guys all have a great day, and we'll see you in a few days. Bye.